celebrating 50 years of Young Turks. A serial entrepreneur and one of Israel's leading high-tech venture capitalists, Jonathan Medved is the founder and CEO of Our Crowd. A leading global equity crowdfunding platform for accredited investors and angels, Crowdfund has raised over $300 million for over 100 portfolio companies since its launch in 2013. Been part of the founding teams at several successful Israeli startups and as a VC and angel investor, over the past two decades, John has invested in almost 200 startup companies, helping to bring 20 of them to values in excess of $100 million. Hello and welcome to a Young Turk special. I'm Shruti Mishra. I have with me Jonathan Medved, a serial entrepreneur and one of Israel's leading high-tech investors. John, thank you so much for joining us here. It's great to be here. My first question to you is, you're a history undergrad. You studied at UC Berkeley. What shifted your career path to finance? An old Jewish tradition called nepotism. Okay. Uh, my late father was a physicist and mm. he was a pioneer in fiber optic communications. And he visited me when I was living in Israel as an informal tour guide and asked that I take him to a meeting so he could write the whole trip off for okay. tax purposes. Yeah. And uh, we went to go see some missile people and they started talking fiber optics. And at the end of this meeting, one of the guys from the science group turned to me and said, young Medved, what, what are you doing in Israel? Yeah. And I told him and he said, what a waste. And I said, what do you mean what a waste? I'm, I'm here <laughs> living a fulfilled life. And he said, no. What your father's doing with fiber optics, that's what Israel needs. Hmm. So this was 1982, and I joined my dad. And uh, we built a very successful company in fiber optics. And then I built software startups, became a venture capitalist, uh, did mobile software, and, yeah, now, yeah. and now I'm a crowdfunder. What piqued your interest in startups? Passion. Okay. People with fire in their eyes, dreams, hmm. to see the, the future being made. There's magic in startups. When people sit and are telling you what they are dreaming of doing and you can become an enabler you can actually help them you, you know the investor doesn't make it happen right investors take altogether too much credit for entrepreneurial success but an investor can be a really a critical component in making it happen as as an enabler and they can also be really bad right investors can screw things up yeah. if they're if they're not right so i i find the whole process unbelievably exciting it's dangerous it's sexy it's uh, it's really cool and uh, I've got the best job in the world let me ask you about our crowd uh, Jerusalem based leading global equity crowdfunding for investors and angels tell me the startup story how did our crowd happen well I had finished my most recent exit which was a company called Vringo which yeah. was in the mobile software area I'd taken it public on the New York Stock Exchange we just merged with something I left and everyone said, okay, now what's next? You know, another venture fund, another startup. And I wanted to combine both being an investor and an entrepreneur at the same time. Okay. So I looked at this crowdfunding stuff and I said, you know, there really needs to be some way that people can tie up to startups who aren't in the, the really closed group. Yeah. Because with all due respect, all this great wealth that's being created by startups, it's going to a few thousand people sure. around the world. I mean, literally a few thousand and that's it. And somehow I wanted to disrupt this. Our job essentially is to hunt down great startups around the world, bring them to our crowd, get an allocation, and then offer it to our investors. Now, our investors are not just regular people. These are people of means. You have to be what's called an accredited investor, have a million dollars of net worth to join the club. Our crowd is part a uh, venture capital firm, and it's part a crowdfunding platform. Take me through the model. Take me through this hybrid model. So the hybrid model means, first of all, that we do curation. Mm -hmm. We don't just let companies list. So oh. every week, we're essentially choosing a new deal we're actually leading the deal. We sign term sheets, we set the terms, we actually buy preferred stock, we set on board. So we act a lot like a VC, except that we have a lot of limited partners. We have 16,000 limited partners who can all choose which deal they'd like to get into. So okay. they go to our crowd and they say, you know, I like that cybersecurity startup, or I like that ag tech, or I like fintech, or I like healthcare, and they can actually build their own portfolio. The minimum investment's $10,000, per deal. Our average investor has deployed about six checks at about $25,000 okay. each. So they're in for about 150000 Again, it's not for everybody, but a lot of your 
viewers or people who would, would make great members of our crowd. This hybrid VC model, this crowdfunding model is surely paying off. You've had, what, nine exits. Uh, two of your companies went for an IPO. You've had seven buyouts by big corporate firms. Uh, take me through your portfolio. Take me through some of the success stories. We're very much into what's called deep technology, hmm. or I call it the hard stuff. We're not the best investors in the newest internet craze or the newest on-demand you know, delivery service for sandals or God knows what. That's not what we do. Yeah. What we do is we look at robotics, at artificial intelligence, at machine learning, at medical devices, at cybersecurity. So we've got a company, Biocatch, who have essentially figured out a way to track every individual in the planet based on how they type, how they use the mouse, and how they touch. Everybody has a unique signature, which is called behavioral biometrics. They just won the award in Singapore two weeks ago as the best uh, fintech startup in the world. They're supporting organizations like the Royal Bank of Scotland, where you don't you have to use anymore any password. We have a company called Emprest, which is used to power Israel's Iron Dome anti-missile system. It's an amazing industrial IoT platform that comes from the military, where a lot mm -hmm. of our startups come from in Israel, and mm -hmm. is now being deployed, uh, deployed in the electrical grid and in big irrigation networks and smart cities. And it's actually working with partners here in India. They haven't announced that yet, but it's a, a very, very exciting company. We have a company called Rewalk, which we took public, which is a exoskeleton, think real life Iron Man, to get people who are paraplegics up out of their wheelchair and walk mm -hmm. again. So it turns out that many of our companies have great stories. There's a lot of passion. They're changing the world. And whether they're saving water and agriculture or helping disabled people walk or making us all safer by you know, keeping the bad guys out of our network, yeah. this is fun.